Yeah, you do. You just showed it to me last time. Welcome. OK. So here I have 17 pi over 3. And what I'm going to do is show you how to sketch, sketch this angle um, from converting from exponential to logarithmic form. Just kidding. All right. So to sketching this graph, what we're going to do is you know, we need to kind of remember here. Um, we're always going to start here at our initial side. And if we rotate a ray, remember this is in the positive direction, so we're going to go counterclockwise. If we rotate a ray halfway around a circle, that's going to be pi. But what I like to do, um, well, actually, if that's going to be pi, and then all the way around would be 2 pi. But when I'm looking at a denominator base 3, I want to rewrite my pi as in terms of thirds. So that would be 3 pi over 3. And 2 pi, I would rewrite as 6 pi over 3. It's the exact same measurement, but I like to write them as thirds, so therefore I can kind of understand a little bit better how to count this up. All right, so I don't like using the x and y axis here. Just think of you have half your circle. This is 3 pi over 3, right? From rotate from here to here would be 3 pi over 3. Well, that means because I'm breaking this up into thirds. And if I go around here, this is another pi distance. So I'm going to break that up into thirds. That's a horrible line. All right, so if here I have 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 6 pi over 3. And now I'm just going to continue going on to 17 pi over 3. But if I'm at 6 pi, I can kind of skip to, all right, there's 9 pi. There's 12 pi. Here's 15 pi. And then I have 16, 17 pi over 3. So this angle has a lot of extra revolutions that are going on. But as you keep on rotating around, rotating around, you can see that finally you get to the angle 17 pi over 3. Thanks. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Did you figure it out? Uh, yes, I did. Bull. Bull? Prove it.